Hi, I'm Cody, and in today's Cyber Weapons Lab, we're going to be talking about signals intelligence. In particular, we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi signals intelligence, which can actually tell us a lot about the environment around us. In particular, we can do things like device discovery, which means finding particular devices or even finding out the kinds of devices that the people around us own. That can be really interesting because we can even do something like drive around and find a particular device that we're looking for if we know what the MAC address looks like. We can do things like monitor device appearance, so we can see when someone comes and goes and when a particular device suddenly attaches to a home network, letting us know that someone's arrived. Or we can even start monitoring things like device activity, which lets us see uh, when someone's on their Xbox or when someone is using the data on their cell phone, which kind of lets us know exactly what they're doing, even though we might not be able to see them. So in order to do this, we're going to use a free open source program called Kismet, which actually has been recently updated to include a bunch of really cool updates. But for stability's sake, and because you can use it over SSH, we're going to use the older version of Kismet. So in order to do this, you'll need a wireless network adapter that's capable of uh, monitor mode. So one of our favorites is the Panda PAU05 wireless network adapter that's small, easy to conceal, and very cheap. So if you're looking for a good hacking starter kit and follow this tutorial, you'll need one of these or another network adapter that's compatible with Kali Linux and offers the ability to go into monitor mode. So let's get started. To get started using Kismet, we'll first need to attach our Kali compatible wireless network adapter to our virtual machine. You can usually do this by in virtual machine, clicking on devices, USB, and then selecting the name of the network device you want to add. Once that's done, you can type IPA in order to see the name of the device, which we'll need for the next step. You can also type ifconfig, but that doesn't work in all Kali distributions. Here we can see WLAN0 is the name of the wireless card, so to put it into monitor mode, we'll type sudo airmon ng start WLAN0. Once that's started, it'll actually change the name of the wireless network adapter to WLAN0MON, or just append MON to the end of yours. And you can verify that by again typing IPA or ifconfig once it's done. Here we can see it's now WLAN0MON. WLAN so let's start Kismet with sudo kismet taxi WLAN0MON. And you'll get a warning about running this as root, but that's okay. We're just doing a quick guide. Go ahead and return through these options and it will put you in the server console. And as soon as you see your wireless card be added and start to detect uh, networks, which we can see right here, you can press tab and return to go to the main window, which I'll make a little bit smaller so you can see some more detail. So as these start to populate, you can see we very quickly already have uh, 50 networks that we've detected, and that number will grow as we start to detect more probe frames. And what we're actually doing is just with this wireless network card, reading all the different frames in the area and interpreting them, including things like their security, the manufacturer, and other data. So as we scroll through here, we can also see that there's devices that are connected to these networks. And Kismet is very smart in grouping these together so that we can start to learn more about a particular network and what's connected to it, which is key to uh, Kismet's prim primary purpose, which uh, is network surveillance and being able to take a look at a network and see various changes uh, as well as what is connected. So when we're talking about network surveillance, what that means is the ability to not only be able to see everything that's on a network, but watch small changes like a user switching from, for example, uh, let's say using their Xbox to using a desktop computer. That lets us know a lot more about maybe uh, the purpose of a network, such as whether it's a business network, a private network, a coffee shop, uh, something like that. So that also speaks to device fingerprint or network fingerprinting, which means learning the ways that certain things like banks or coffee shops actually look uh, when you look at them from a network perspective so that you can learn things like do they share their network or not, or do they have a bunch of security cameras connected. This can really infer a lot about the business and can allow you to track them very precisely. For example, maybe when employees come in, when people are leaving for the night, it really depends on what they have connected. So in this case, we can see there's a drop cam, which is a wireless security camera. And this kind of information would also be useful if I was looking to, say, jam this camera. All I would need is the channel it's on, the MAC address, and then to run a very simple script on the same wireless card in order to knock that drop camera off the network, and it would be blunt. So all that is really cool. Uh, however, there's another thing that's happening, and that is we are able to track devices that aren't even connected to a network. 
So if you go to Auto Group Probe, what this means is these are uh, unconnected or disconnected wireless networks that are, uh, these are, sorry, devices like cell phones, laptops, as you can see, Google, there's a Raspberry Pi around here somewhere. And these are all attempting to connect to networks, but they actually haven't found one yet. So because they're sending out probes attempting to connect to something, we're able to see if they are nearby. Now that could be very useful if, for example, you know all the devices that are supposed to be in a given area, because being able to detect their probe frames will let you know if a specific manufacturer of device is maybe somewhere where it's not supposed to be. For example, in a business environment where there are zero Raspberry Pis, seeing this Raspberry Pi signature would probably be pretty alarming because it means someone with you know, at least a little bit of technical experience, or perhaps a child, uh, has a Raspberry Pi computer nearby and might be doing some uh, rogue stuff. So. This is a way that you can get started looking into the world around you without having to have any actual eyes on the target. You can start to learn not only when people are present and when they are doing things, but you can start to distinguish the way that devices and networks uh, interact uh, so you can learn how these things are set up in the first place. So again, this is all just done with a simple wireless card. You don't need to actually be very near a particular target in order to do this, because with a directional antenna, like a Yagi antenna or a panel antenna, uh, you can actually zero in and from up to a mile away start to pull data like this from a target. So pretty creepy, pretty cool. Uh, this works both on private networks again and business networks, so if you need to know when someone's coming and going, if you need to know if they're you know, on their Xbox when they should be working, this is a handy way of being able to do some pretty hardcore surveillance uh, with a pretty low budget. So yeah, that's a good way to get started looking at pro frames, uh, looking at packets, and learning what Kismet is really, really good at. All right, so that was our tutorial on Wi-Fi signals intelligence using Kismet and a small wireless network adapter like this to discover a lot about the devices around you and even start to learn about the people using them. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you like or dislike about these videos, and we'll continue to produce them as you guys enjoy them. All right, thank you, and we'll see you next time on Cyber Weapons Lab.